Can don't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Elvin Ong and I'm a painter. Uh, well, since I was a kid, well, as far as I could remember, I was painting on the walls of our HDB flat and uh, my mother had to just uh, stop because uh, it was getting quite out of hand. And at the time, I wanted to be an architect, so when I graduated, I went to architecture school and then I was already doing painting commissions on the site. At some point, I decided to do this full-time, so I took a year out and uh, applied to some art schools in the UK. I guess as an only child, drawing was a, a form of solace and also to keep my active mind in check. And I think it's still something that's still quite true for me today. Although my, my dad claims that like his childhood he used to draw, but I've never seen the drawings before. So first commission works were actually for church. Even when I went to the UK, uh, I still did some commissions to supplant my studies. And actually they're still um, hanging there in Oxford and some other parts in the UK. Narratives have always interested me from the start and people. So actually a lot of the initial commissions were also portraits. Most of them I don't actually use drawings, I just draw directly onto the canvas and go with the flow. I guess each, each stage of the painting is a question and looking is a form of an answer. When the answers are unsatisfactory to me, that's when I feel like paintings need more work. So it's always a work in progress, always um, uh, an internal dialogue, a uh, conversation. Yeah, I have like folders of, of um, painters I regularly look at in my laptop um, and sometimes when I'm starved of ideas, I, I do borrow from them. People like uh, Nicole Eisenman, Dana Schutz, but also like local artists, like I find Yan Wu very inspiring. And also my conversations with uh, Genevieve Chua, uh, Heeman Chong. Yeah, actually Heeman Chong has this work uh, called Calendars of um, works that he tiled in the grid and that was one of the seeds that inspired me to do this series of hits. Uh, this is what I'm working on at the moment. Part of an ongoing series of uh, 108 hits. Uh, these are nine of them. This is my working wall. As you can see, these are the various uh, painting sizes I've, I've done. Uh, since I was here, which is like two years now, took off all the ugly wallpaper and the ugly curtains and all my parents' ugly decor and yeah, turned it to my studio. Knowing that I will be showing these all in one wall, I try to vary them. Yeah, so when they get done, I, I take photos of them and then I tile them in Photoshop and then I arrange them. And then sometimes when I tell them, I, I realise that um, certain motifs are repeated and I, I rework them. I think the best painting moments happen in the morning. And then I, <laughs> I water the plants, go for a swim. Uh, and then um, sometimes I paint again in the afternoon or I, I uh, practice on the piano. Mm, yeah, every day is a struggle. Yeah, <laughs> with the painting and... Uh, and quite often, like they don't really work out. Yeah, my my non-painter art friends say, "Ah, yeah, you, you are a painter, so you have it easy." I do printmaking and I do sculpture. Uh, nobody buys prints and nobody is interested in sculpture. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm thinking like, okay lah, you you just do painting lah. Nobody asks you to do uh, printmaking and sculpture and all this. Yeah, my dad will always ask me, "Oh, what what, what is this?" work about and I don't understand this. I would just tell them, oh, it's abstract art. Modern, modern art, modern art. I think believe in yourself and stay true to yourself. Like in art school, I actually had a, a, a tutor who told me to stop painting. And looking back, I'm glad I didn't follow his advice at all. Yeah. Well, what keeps you driving to keep painting? Mm, I also don't know. Eh? Yeah. It's like, why do people keep pets? <laughs> <laughs>